Hello everyone, welcome back. It is February 22nd or 23rd and it's 65 degrees out, Manchester, New Hampshire. That is unbelievable. The weather is awesome. I actually have my door open. I don't know, one day it's snowing, the next day it's uh, 65 degrees, which is okay with me. All right, I'm going to show you what I got done. Actually, I just brought them in here. And as you can see, they need to have these sides cut off. And I need to make new tops. Um, there is molding on the sides here. See, there's this molding on here which it's only on one side so we don't want it lopsided so we are going to take that off uh, let's get this molding off I mean it's plastic all these little tiny little pin nails. I don't know if you guys can see those or not, but we don't want them here because we're going to sand this down lightly so you don't see it. Well, if you guys ever have any questions, about flipping furniture or doing any furniture repair please let me know down in the comments I'll be more than happy to uh, help you guys out I do a lot of uh, quick bondo repair it dries fast you can sand it quickly it depends on what I'm doing um, sometimes I'll do, use the heat gun to get it to dry faster because the heat activates the uh, the bondo to dry quicker. And then don't use your hands; you'll cut yourself. But that one's all done. I took this one off already. Looks good. I'm going to knock that down. Probably just going to use a 220. Hopefully you can see that. There's quite a bit of a ridge there. So we're just going to knock that down. The thing to do is go by feel. If you can close your eyes and rub your hands on this and you don't feel anything, it's perfect. Let's do the other one. You know, the more time you spend on this, the more money you're going to lose on a flip. Now, I was trying to get these out the other day. The file cabinet drawers, I'm not sure... Why they don't want to come out? Because yeah, it should do the same thing. Because it's got little notches here. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. This little notch right here, and the draw sits down into it. And you're supposed to lift these up. And it lets go of the little thing that you have in here. But I'll show 
door. I've been messing with these for a couple of days now. See, I got the clips up. And then it should just come out. Why? So this is just the top part. Yeah. So that should come right out. Unless I have to lift up. And they're both they're both out of the slots. They're not hanging on there. I don't know. All right, I'm going to get this up on my workbench. They're not light for sure. Now, I'm going to show you the problem I have. See right here? This needs to be cut out. with the handsaw and this can be cut out with a circular saw but it only can go so far because I don't see this is attached to the back this is attached to the side and up here they're connected so I can't pop this molding off although I would like to I'm going to try. Oh, that fits. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Put it on the slowest setting. All right, let me move you guys over here. I'm going to attempt to take this molding off. Make it a little easier for my life. That would make me very happy if this would work. go in very far. I'm trying to do it by feel. All right. Now let's see if we can do the least amount of damage. Oh, it's going to come off. What if I can get that out? Oh, yeah. So this was holding in the corner and it was starting to split here. So maybe, uh, maybe I can get this to come out. coming. Woo! Yeah. Ah. 
it screwed in the bottom. Okay, that makes sense. There's another one of these. See how this hang? This is not plugged in. Not plugged in. Don't do anything when anything's plugged in. Leave it unplugged. So you see the tooth here? You're gonna cause a lot of wear on your blade. When your blade is down like this, really far, you think that you have this and this cutting it. But when you start your line, um, you will not be able to correct it because you have this much area going straight. If you try to correct it, it's going to take a long time and it's definitely going to go out of shape. So the best thing to do is just have the tooth hanging over. So we want to adjust the saw. Just the tooth is hanging down like that. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. You see how just that tooth is hanging down? So you're going to save your saw. If you need to make any corrections, it's going to be easily correctable because you only have this small amount of the saw cutting into your wood. So just take your time and uh, yeah, let's cut this, let's cut this guy out. And a good safety practice is when you're done down to the other end of your cutting, just stop the saw before you remove it. Let the blade stop. Make sure this safety guard goes down completely. Your hand is off the trigger before you put it down. Because if the saw, if you put it on the bench and the saw is still going, the saw will kick back and hit you and obviously cut you. Could possibly kill you. So be safe. Always have things unplugged when you're working on them and try to have the, uh, your work as close to you as possible when you're working on it. So I like to line up my saw before I get it going. Make sure it's nice and flat. Don't have the saw on the wood and keep your hand off the trigger until you're ready. Next one, I will be wearing my respirator because I didn't realize I was going to give me so much of a hard time. So now you guys can see this is cut off nice. And I can put the molding back on. And when you're using a nail gun, always make sure you use safety glasses. I have a face shield. It works awesome. You unscrew it in the back. So it, you get a bun fixed on your head. Screw it down nice and tight. And it can stay off. Easily. Easily movable. Yeah. These are too short. They won't make it through there. Do I have a sample? I do, because I just cut it off. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try it on this piece I just cut off. 
to make sure they go through, because this is pretty hard. I don't want to nail it to my table. Can you see the hole right there? Nice and flush, that's what you want. And then I bend this, I bend this out of the way so you don't step on it or hurt yourself. Let's get this molding back on. Look at that. Nice. Hmm. Nobody will even know. This is not going anywhere. I could put an extra piece in there. Oh yeah, that's from the screw inside there. I wish I could get this drawer off. It just kind of is confusing, that's all. It doesn't want to come off. for a couple of days now. Because I could screw this right back in from underneath. If I can get this drawer off. I might be able to do it from the other side. And I might be able to get it from the other side. Yep. Look at that. Beautiful. It's got nice. It's got nice feet on it. That are adjustable. Look at that. Doesn't look like anybody's done anything to it. I like it. I like it a lot. Good. I'm gonna do a little tiny bit of uh this is where the desk was attached. So I'm just gonna hit that with my sander real quick. No. last night All done. That's all nice and trimmed up. 
is all sanded off. Maybe we'll do some bond board for the tops. Because I can take this off and I can get in and I can use these original brackets to actually mount the top, which is wonderful. And you know something? I might even start doing this with L brackets. Just get a single L bracket. I can do four L brackets because I was trying to screw everything into this, but it's very difficult. So these already have the holes in them. I just have to pre-drill the wood. And uh, yeah, sometimes you just gotta think on the go, so. All right, let me get the other one on the bench. And thanks for watching. I hope you guys liked the video. See you on the next one.